Hi friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my studio. You know I'm always very thrilled to have you and today I'm extra super excited. I know I say that a lot, but I really am because, oh my gosh, I started this painting like four months ago or something. I don't know, it was such a long time ago. Like my friend, this is one of my good friends, MZ. She's amazing, she's a fellow artist. She is incredible, I love her. We're really good friends and we have like the same dreads. It's crazy. Anyways, um, so uh, she, model for me and um, I, I painted this and you know of course it always takes a little while after you model anyways and then I painted it and then for different reasons like expenses and some other things and I got not good resin and blah 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 it took me forever to be able to like get everything done and layer it correctly like this is a real doily in here and that had to be layered above and then the hand is a different piece layered up above so this piece yeah that is a real luna moth of course i did not i did not kill the luna moth but we found it um but uh yeah so this just took forever to like get everything together and it, i tend to do my paintings in batches and especially now that i'm doing the resin pour so i'll paint like four to five paintings and then i will frame them all and then I will resin them all like and then you have to do them in different layers like that and it just I mean it makes sense to do it that way but you know then then I, <laughs> I haven't been able to play with this painting in like four months because I've been waiting for everything else and getting the resin yada yada so anyways I'm very excited to share this process with you today I've got the whole painting process I've got the different layers and some pores and all that kind of stuff so I hope you enjoy it as much as I did making it squee um, and uh, if you did please hit that subscribe button and <laughs> make sure you come back and it really helps my channel thank you guys oh, so excited enjoy so you'll notice this striking blue that I'm putting down the right side of my muse's face. I really love it. There was a gorgeous reflection all the way down the right side of her body in the initial photo that I took which I think wound up playing off of the Luna Moth really nicely in the end. I love those cool shadows. So the model for this painting is actually a really good friend of mine, MC. I love her so much. She's a fellow artist. She's actually a ceramicist and she travels the world. She's one of my favorite hiking buddies and she is one of my favorite muses for sure. Every time we're together, I wind up taking photos of her and I have multiple paintings planned with her as the focal subject. Sometimes you just meet a friend that inspires you so much and I'm so lucky to know her. If you're curious what I use to make these skin tones, check around for links. I have multiple videos detailing how to create different hues of skin tones. For this painting especially, I wanted the viewer to feel the pulsating sun on her chest, so I emphasize that with using very warm tones in the highlight area to be counteracted with very cool tones in the low light area. I want the viewer to feel the warmth on her skin. Thank you. 
Check out the other video I made recently talking about how to improve your drawings for paintings. I show you specifically on this painting how I had to slightly alter the photograph to make sure that it read well as a painting. As you probably know, photographs alter images, so there were some adjustments I had to make on the hand and arm that you may find interesting as well as informative for when you decide to use a photograph as a reference as well. So this ethereal blue-green on her back is starting to come in really strongly. It counteracts well with the warmth on her front from the sun. Soon enough you will see the pulsating shadow on her chest, hence the name, the sun, the moon, and the heartbeat in between. Hands are one of my favorite things to paint and draw. If you ever want to get better at painting or drawing the figure, just practice drawing hands. I guarantee you that the better you get at that simple task, the better you will be at the entire human body. It's almost magic how well it happens. MC is one of the few friends I have ever made in my life whose dreadlocks are as long as mine. If you're curious about how I paint these, check around for links. I have a video detailing the entire process. So I paint my shadow shapes using different methods. This one I decided to do wet on dry with blotting it to make them look a little softer. Sometimes I paint the shadows as I'm doing the original painting. It just varies. And here's where that second hand is about to come into play. For this painting, I've actually used four layers of resin. I'm not going to bore you with each one, but they are there and each one takes about a day to dry in between. If you'd like to learn more about pouring resin, check it out. I just made a video. I'll post links. Here's the completed piece. If you'd like to see it up close or even grab a print, pop over to my blog post. Check the links below. Thanks for being here guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.